This is Mike from your car dealer, Bon, and another great tip and trick for some of the new newbies out there, a bunch of you sales guys out there that is going to really help you get your game to the next level. You want to sell more cars? You want to double your car account of how what your averages are by three months from now, six months from now? Really, really pay attention. This is for you. Here's the real big trick, guys. Really, really listen in. This is an older uh, series that came out probably, gosh, don't quote me on this, but this probably came out 20 years ago. Uh, seven, high, uh, seven Habits of Highly Effective People, Stephen Covey, these guys always, you'll hear about it, business schools of Silicon Valley, if you're in California, I'm sure you, they killed you on this thing, uh, beating you over the head either with this, the 80-20 rule, uh, these are very, very key um, uh, habits and, and things that if you really get in, in, into the swing of making this um, a part of your daily routines, you're going to really see your levels change. Here it is. Keep the end in mind at the beginning. A lot of you guys are just getting your license, just getting things started. I had a guy email me and text me earlier today his check for his bond renewal. He is renewing his bond, just sold his first car. Bond renewal, he's already gone a whole year, he's paying his renewal, just sold his first car. Sometimes it takes a while to get going, but keep the end in mind at the beginning. It's a really big concept in insurance and, and, and banking. I mean, there's a keeping the end in mind at the beginning. This is going to make a huge difference for you when you're building a website, when you're starting to build your social media presence, when you're starting to really think about what kind of cars you really want to be known for, or trucks, or are you the boat guy, the mobile home guy, you name it. What are you going to be known for? Uh, keeping the end in mind, so that the beginning will help carve your path a little bit more, get you focused uh, on what vehicles you need to be buying to stay true to that same path that you want to really stay highly focused on because niche, everything's niche this day, these days. Niche, if you're niche this, niche that, you end up making more. It's not the general practitioner that makes a bunch of money, of doctors, let's just say. It's the neuro, uh, whatever the devil that guy is that, that works on you. It's the optometrist. It's these guys that really special in on a certain specific field. And boom, it's, it's, it's not the generals anymore. What are you known for? Because you can't be all things to all people. I mean, unless you're a new car dealership, which likely you're probably a sales guy. And you even focus a lot of times. You can get everything, but a lot of times you know where the focus is, especially if you've already looked at the 80-20 rule, which is one of my other videos, which you should take a look at. We'll have a, 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 a link down, down below. I'll put a card up for it and everything, but really start to understand where uh, a lot of this is coming from. And that, and keeping the end in mind at the beginning. Great concept. Really, really drive that home into your sales guys that you manage and, and whatever it is, even if you're not in the car dealer business. So again, if you're making rates out there for insurance companies or you're out there even carving out your insurance agency, whatever it is, you really got to keep the end in mind at the beginning. You're building houses. Keep the end in mind at the beginning. You're selling cars. Keep the end in mind at the beginning. What do you want to be known for? What's your brand presence really going to be? You're starting a YouTube channel. You don't just put up a bunch of, uh, of videos about X, Y, and Z, cute uh, kittens or dogs or whatever, games. I don't know what you guys are into. but And by all means, down below in the comment section, comment on what you guys are into. I, I, I'm fascinated. Um, but that's blog. Maybe that's the, 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 the new thing that your finance, finance and marketing guys have told you. We need to get into writing blogs. What are we going to write blogs about? You can't just write them about anything willy-nilly. Keep the end in mind at the beginning. It's going to help you carve out and keep focused and keep on that path because the focused way is the way you're going to make more money. Increase your ROI. Really get your say. You want to double your sales in six months. 
80-20 rule, keep the end in mind at the beginning, the SWOT analysis, videos down below because I've done videos now on all of them. We're going to have it all there for you. All this stuff, best free tips and tricks in the business. Your Car Dealer Bond podcast, please take a listen to it. I'll have links down below. You can get it on the Stitcher. Maybe you're married to Stitcher Radio or you love the iTunes store. The iTunes store, it's not official unless you download it there. Your Car Dealer podcast. Look it up. Look it up. Check it out. We appreciate it. Thanks for sticking in there. Um, Stay tuned to the next one. Guys, I really appreciate it. Let me know. Put a thumbs up. Support us that way. I don't need you guys. Don't need to send in any checks. None of that. Put a thumbs up. If I can't get a click out of you to one simple click, you guys are tight. Come on, used car dealers out there. Put a thumbs up in there if you like the content. If you got anything out of it, or you know somebody who can. If you don't mind. If you hated it, you. That's cool too. Thumbs down and please subscribe. Ring the bell. Let me know that you guys care because this stuff takes a while. I should be at home with my family right now. Guys, this is Mike from your car dealer, Bond. Thanks for hanging in there. I really appreciate it.